Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Aaron with U-Haul. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Reese Pro Series Q-Slot Platform Style Bike Rack. This rack is affordable and adjustable where you can adjust the trays to fit almost any type of bike. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at its features. So to take a closer look, this is a platform style bike rack which means the wheels of your bike will sit into these two trays. Now to secure it into place, it has these Velcro straps. You just latch it over and secure it into place. Now these loops are also adjustable. You can turn on this knob right here and that will allow you to loosen it up and shift it to put it to the, your correct wheelbase. Now to secure your bicycle on top, we have this middle post that has these hooks on it. These hooks will clamp down onto the top tube of your bike and on these hooks, we have these foam covers that will protect your frame from any scratching. So this rack can hold up to two bikes at a time with each bike weighing up to 45 pounds for a total weight capacity of 90 pounds. And your bike can have a tire width of up to two and three quarter inches. Now let's take a look at our shank. This comes with a rising shank, which will give you more clearance for your rack when you're hauling it on your vehicle. And it comes with an inch and a quarter shank. But if you have a two inch receiver, it also comes with this adapter, which will adjust it to that size. You'll just line up the notch in here with this hole right here, and you'll just clip it into place. Now to help secure it to your vehicle, we have a threaded pin with a cotter pin and flat washer. This will lock it in so it's nice and secure. And to help put it into place, we have this multi-tool to help tighten it up. Now let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to put on your vehicle. So to install this on your vehicle, we're just gonna lift it up and line up our shank with our receiver. We left our adapter on since we have a two inch receiver and then we're just gonna push it in till our two pinholes line up. Now we're gonna take our threaded pin with the flat washer and we're gonna bring it in on the driver's side and we're just gonna thread it in by hand as much as we can. And once it starts to get tight, we'll take our multi-tool and we'll go ahead and tighten it up all the way. Then we'll take our cutter pin on the other side and we'll just put it into place. With our rack installed on our vehicle, it's nice and secured so it doesn't sway while hauling it. Now, if you're gonna haul it without any bikes, it's really easy. We can fold up these two arms so it doesn't stick out to the side. We're just gonna pull out these two pins right here and it'll allow you to pull it up. And then once we get it to the upright position, we'll just put the pin in the second hole and secure it into place. And we just do it on the other arm as well. Now we can also lower this middle post right here. We're just gonna pull out this pin at the bottom and this will lower all the way. Now, one reason we can do that is if we don't have any bikes on our rack, we can get in and out of our cargo area without anything in the way. Now, another reason we can drop this is it makes it easier to put a bike into our front position. So let's get our rack ready to put a bike on. We're gonna remove these Velcro straps. We're just gonna pull it out and pull it through its loop. And we'll do that on both sides. Now, before we bring our bike up, we're going to adjust our loops to the right wheelbase. Just gonna loosen them up and adjust them. With our loop set up, we're gonna lift our bike up and we're gonna set it into place. Now holding our bike with one hand, we're gonna lift our post over our top tube. We're going to loosen it up and we're gonna clamp it down on top. Now once it's nice and tight, we're gonna tighten it up right here. And then while still holding it, we're gonna take our pin and we're gonna insert it down at the bottom of the post. Now down by the wheel, we're gonna take our Velcro strap. We're gonna loop it over our wheel and through our loop and secure it on top. And we'll do it over here as well. So that's how you put a bike onto this bike rack. Now, if you're gonna put a second bike on, just make sure it's facing the opposite way of the first one. And make sure before you tow that you check all of your connections and make sure they're nice and tight so that your bikes are fully secured. All right, so that wraps up the Reese Pro Series Q-Slot platform style bike rack. As you can see, this was really easy to use and with it being so adjustable, it can fit almost any type of bike. If you have any questions about this rack or if you'd like to take a look at one, you can visit your closest U-Haul center or you can visit us online at uhaul.com. Thank you.